it's February 14th, 2021. One year ago today, I had this truck delivered from the dealership. It had 125 miles on it when it showed up in my driveway. And you can see in a year, I haven't even put 10,000 miles on it. Because of the events of 2020, I didn't put the normal amount of miles on this truck that I would any other vehicle that I've owned in that span of time. So the only accessories that I put on the truck, and I got these right away after after having the truck delivered, the WeatherTech floor mat here that you can see is uh, doing its job. It's protecting the upholstery. We got a set for the wife's 2014 Malibu and uh, they've worked out really good. So I got these right away for the truck and I would absolutely recommend the uh, floor liners from WeatherTech. Additionally, I got the Saddleman seat covers. These are their uh, cloth seat covers. I almost got the nylon ones, but these are the cloth ones. I got a set of Saddleman seat covers for my 2001 Dakota and those lasted the lifetime of the truck. The other item I got is just this uh, little tray here that you put in the top of your center console to organize things that you store in there. Like an extra pair of sunglasses for the wife. Other than that, I haven't really done much as far as accessorizing the truck. So I haven't used every feature in this truck in the past year. So far with it, it's been mostly just commuting back and forth to work. I have hauled two deer to the butcher with this truck, and I've taken it on a 1200 mile round trip where I might have exceeded the legal speed limit, and I was getting 27 miles per gallon with this truck. That's pretty good for a diesel engine that hasn't even broke in yet. One of the things that I knew was gonna come along with this truck as far as additional maintenance is that periodically I was gonna have to add diesel exhaust fluid. And I've known about diesel exhaust fluid for years. I know that newer vehicles equipped with a diesel engine are required to have diesel exhaust fluid, but I've never actually had to, to refill it or anything else like that. And I wasn't sure how expensive it would be or what a hassle it would be. And it turned out that it's really easy to do. It's not that expensive and the fluid lasts quite a while. You can see I'm going to have to add some diesel exhaust fluid here soon. I have had a flat tire in the first year owning the vehicle. I made it three doors down from my house before I ran over a drywall screw and the uh, right rear tire went flat instantly. The alarm went off on the dash and I stopped the truck. Since I was so close to home, I didn't use the factory installed jack that comes with the truck. I just grabbed my floor jack out of my shed and changed the tire in the street. Lowering the spare wasn't any problem at all, and the tire was able to be plugged. Reinstalling it was easy. Putting the spare back underneath the bed was fairly easy. So that was sort of a uh, good experience, I guess. So it's the first time I've owned a vehicle that's got uh, a touch screen for the radio, for the songs that I, uh, I've got here on a, on a small thumb drive. Uh, it's got navigation, things like that. I, I've, I've driven vehicles with this before, but I've never actually owned any of that myself. And this is fairly easy to use. It connects to my phone, uh, sometimes wirelessly, sometimes I have to plug it in. That is something that's kind of annoying that it's not consistent, but plugging it in really isn't an issue. And it's all integrated in with the phone. If I'm on the phone or I'm on a live show on YouTube, I've got a microphone right over my head to pick up my voice. The same thing is on the passenger side, and I found that that works out pretty good. I really like that feature. If it's plugged into my phone, I can talk to it. I can do the whole, hey, Google thing, and it'll tell me the weather or answer other questions like that. I mean, this, these are features that are on other vehicles as well, but this is a new thing for me as far as owning something like this. So I really kind of like the features uh, that it has. I never thought I would, but I really do like these sorts of features. 
when I disconnect my phone from the truck, if I was playing music previously, it will go right back to the same position it was on the song, at the same volume level. And in some cases, I will hang up from a phone call or drop off of a live show on YouTube or simply just unplug my phone and the music will start blaring. You would think with all the other electronic devices on here, they could have an electronic control that would lower the volume despite what you had it at previously. That way it doesn't provide that shock to both the speakers and to the driver and passengers. But that's just my thoughts on an improvement they could make if this is standard on, on all GM vehicles, simply putting in some sort of, uh, I don't know, some sort of delay where maybe it turns the volume down and gradually brings it back to where it was, or it just leaves the volume down, gives you the option to manually turn it back up, I think that would be an improvement. One of the few complaints I have about the truck is the placement of the four-wheel drive shift. It's right next to the lights. Now the lights are always in automatic mode. I can switch them to manual mode, turn on the fog lights, that sort of thing. But to go from two-wheel drive to four auto, I simply turn this knob. Well, it's right next to the light knob. Well, if I'm paying attention to the roads because it's the driving conditions are really bad, I may reach over and actually turn off the lights or something like that. So I don't like the placement of the four-wheel drive, but I will say that this is the first vehicle I've had with four auto, and I really do like that feature. The truck drives really well in bad conditions. I'm really impressed with how well it handles, despite the fact that even though it does have um, off-road tires, they're not the most aggressive off-road tires you can get. And even though the truck has some weight to it, it's still not as heavy as the one-ton four-wheel drive pickup truck that I'm used to driving. Something else about the location of the lights and the four-wheel drive. Simply pushing the center of the light control button turns on the fog lights. Well, if the seat's up too close, my knee can very easily bump that. So that's something else I've noticed. I haven't played with all the features in the truck. I just haven't had a need to, uh, to really mess with them. But so far, the things that I've used have worked out really well. The heated steering wheel works pretty good. The heated seats are great. The truck will even tell me if the battery is low on my cell phone. It'll, it'll display that right up here on the dash for just a, a few seconds just to let me know that the phone needs to be charged. And I have used this charging port right here forgive the dust I should clean the truck but uh, I have used this where I can set the phone on it and it'll charge it automatically and if I angle it just right it it works just fine it's the first time I've had a feature like that on a vehicle so in addition to the truck being what I need a truck I kind of like some of these extra features these sort of things that I never thought I would like before when I was younger the sort of things that I said I'll never get or why pay extra for or anything else like that it's kind of like smartphones I was the last one out of all my friends to get a smartphone and I, I I got to the point where I couldn't live without it well I can tell you I don't think I'll ever buy a vehicle again that doesn't have some of the nice little gadgets and gizmos that this comes with so overall in my first year despite the fact that I haven't used the truck to its fullest potential I'm, I'm satisfied with my purchase. I'm very happy with this truck. I would recommend it to anybody who wants an affordable, American-made truck that will probably fit a lot of different needs. I mean, it's not going to tow a 20,000-pound trailer. And, uh, you know, it would need some work done to it, or you'd maybe want to get the ZR2 version if you wanted to do some serious off-roading. But otherwise, this truck does the job, and I don't have any regrets so far. 
We'll come back in a year and I'll tell you if I've made any uh, changes to the truck and if I've changed my mind about liking it or not liking it or uh, maybe if I figured out another feature on this truck that I still don't know exists. Thanks for watching.